Hi friend, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bikes. I'm your friend Amanda Shaktivel, and in this video, we're going to see about how we can enable the contact switching. For example, let's say in a in a test case, we want to interact with more both web and as well as mobile. Let's say uh, I want to do some scenarios in the web, then I need to switch to my Android or iOS app, and then I have to do some scenarios. These kind of things can be you know technically called as contact switching. We are we are switching context from web to mobile or mobile to web. right in these cases we need to enable certain certain you know uh, provisions in our framework so that you know these kind of scenarios are possible but in the ideal case most probably you know if your if your application is having lot of apis you could always use apis instead of the ui flow so that each test case is either a combination of api and web or a combination of api and mobile not the web and mobile so in in certain unavoidable circumstances there can be cases where we need to have this kind of provisions so we are going to see how we can enable that kind of contact switching in our automation framework right without wasting much time let's head to the intel right before doing all that uh, if you notice i have already created a uh, implement uh, impl folder and then uh, put all the implementation classes inside it based on their uh, web or mobile platform type and then uh, you know uh, we also have created this uh, driver class where uh, let's say this init driver for web let's say someone is calling this method twice okay uh, then it will create two new browsers okay so which i don't want to do only i want to create uh, a new instance of a driver uh, if it is something it's not available already right in those cases i have to add a if condition uh, check to do this right so what i can do uh, if uh, driver manager Right, or get driver uh, equal to equal to null. Then I want to create a new one. But again, guys, e equal to equal to null is something you know you can do it. But you know I prefer doing this using objects dot objects class. Right, so objects dot is null. Right, and then I can do this. I'm just checking whether this is null. If it is null, uh, basically we want to do this. the same way while quitting the bro, bro, driver i want to check whether if it is already closed because if it is already closed or abruptly due to some other reasons i don't want to again quit it and then get an exception in you know, in those cases i'm just telling if uh, objects dot uh, non null uh, driver manager right dot get driver and i want to do this right and also notice um, we are calling the driver manager dot get driver and quit but if we go there we already have unload method which we didn't even call which, which actually removes the thread local uh, uh, variable the value set in the thread local so we need, we want to also call this as part of our quitting process so what i can do i can say driver manager dot unload right right so this is now good now what i can do i can go to this uh, i have created three new test cases let's say web um, for android test i have created android test for ios i have created ios test so all of them are very simple tests which basically launches the website alone right in this case it just initializes the browser alone right let's see what's happening if i try to run this particular thing right we want to check before we proceed to uh, enable the contact switching first let's check the basic scenarios so as if you notice there is some problem uh, as i renamed some files it is letting uh it is asking me to again uh, rebuild this let's try to run it again so the browser getting launched yes if you feel the video to be little slow please change the playback setting to 1.5 or 2 again now the browser got closed let's also take the android test and android test as a mobile base where i am initializing the driver for the mobile right for now for now basically i am hot coding this platform as android or ios for now i want to run an android test so i'll change it to android uh, and then i'll go here i'll try to run it okay so it should basically launch the uh, android app the api demo app right yeah it launched and quit it uh, all good and for the ios uh, again I, i have to go here and then i need to change this to ios for now but yeah we will fix this guys we will pass it from the test method uh, we will just enable a parameter here and then pass it from the test method okay so we can do this but for now just try to run it 
sorry uh, i put a brand i was just stop so let me try to run the ios test so unable to install okay let me try again okay there is some problem here uh, original error install error calling during the process uh, maybe i'll try to remove the app right and then let's try to run it again maybe some kind of corruption would have happened okay uh, while processing the command okay maybe we will debug this for ios i am getting this error we will debug this but apart from that uh, the android and i uh, web test are working fine let's enable the context switch that is very important right so let's close all all the other tabs and just go to the driver manager and here uh, this is what we are speaking about a web test will only have web and mobile test will only have mobile this is absolutely working fine as of now but we want to have the context switch let's say from web we want to switch to mobile and then to web right we want to do these kind of scenarios let's let's build the framework for that as well right so what i am going to do here we have just one thread local i am i am going to have two thread locals one to store uh, let's say this as web underscore thread local right let me do a refactoring web driver thread local right and let's also copy this and uh, paste this and i'll name this as mobile driver thread local or simply uh, yeah this is fine now i also want to enable uh, uh, this things the get set driver and get driver right based on this and also let's say i have two drivers now okay let's say at a particular instance i have one is web driver one is mobile driver okay i have two things okay one is stored here and one is stored here but the problem is i want to store this in a particular data structure uh, two of the options are list as well as map okay if i put both these into a list then i have to operate based on the indexes but that based on the index if i operate it will be little confusing which one is zeroth index which one is first index any newcomer would find it very difficult so what i can do i can put it inside a map okay map with a key let's say i with the key s web and then i'll store the web driver thread local web driver thread local okay i say that same way mobile and then i'll put the mobile driver thread local right so that a map with have two entries one entry key is this and the value is this for for the other one the key is, will be mobile and the value will be this particular mobile driver thread local okay so we'll have these kind of uh, two entries in the map so that it will be easy to operate upon and fetch our get values right so this is how we are going to do so now i also want to know at a particular time at a particular instance at a particular i want to know what context it is now let's say i want to know whether it is now in a web view or a mobile view i want to switch the context then i will have something called called context okay that basically has either a web value or a mobile value so this web and mobile is, is like an enum right so basically we can create a enum uh, i'll create a class uh, this is basically an enum uh, platform type okay and this platform type uh, is basically web mobile right only two so let's go here and create one more for that uh private static final thread local and let's say uh this is context right and uh, it is of platform type right platform type okay and i name it as context it can be either web or mobile so i can initialize to new thread local but but the thing is what i want by default i'll assume some value so with initial i'll with the initial i'll assume that is platform type dot web right 
okay and i al can also do a static import so that it, it basically uh, adds more readability so the context by default with initial value of web right good now so whenever somebody is setting it first i want to validate whether this is a web or a mobile instance based on that i have to store it right because by default we cannot store it in the web driver so i'll put a check if whatever the driver they are passing is instance of android driver right or uh, driver instance of ios driver right if it is either one of these what i want to do i want to uh, basically set it as a set it in this right and also i want to switch the context from web to mobile so so there are multiple things but let's move this logic okay let's move this logic to as extract method and i can validate uh, let's say is some mobile driver okay yeah so i can basically if it is a mobile driver i want to do certain things what and all so first i want to set mobile driver dot set what are the driver value that we got and then i want to set set the context dot set and then the platform type is let's say mobile okay so after that i want to also have a map so i'll have a map right i told i'll, I'll use a map and then store these values so first i want to create a map so uh let's basically create a map uh this map the key is going to be of platform type and the value is going to be of the local of web driver right and here um, let's say the name is let's say map driver map yeah driver score map okay and then i can put new uh, enum map here because okay new enum map and uh, basically this is uh, platform type dot class right and then okay sorry guys it should be map okay good so i have a map that takes key as this and the value as thread local of driver so i can put either this or this right now if the, if the mode is this driver map dot put and i can put uh, this as mobile and mobile driver thread local okay once i set the value to this i can put it inside this right right and maybe i'll cut this and put it here right so we can also know the context as well so the same thing we have to do it uh, else right so i can do this and then i can copy this paste it here driver map dot put uh, web comma web driver thread local and by default the context is anyways uh, web so i don't have to put it here but uh, let's say you are doing the set driver after some time maybe you are switching the context from web to mobile mobile to web in those cases you might need to do it so i'll just put context set to web right so all good now uh, looks okay to me so we will do the testing in the next class uh, next video so there is some some it is telling like no you you are it not calling the remove method on this you are not calling the remove method on this you are not calling the remove method on this as well so these are all basically sonarland suggestion but uh, let's say whenever we are doing an unload not only we will remove this uh, let's say we also will remove what uh, what wait a minute let's say uh, we are calling this unload method i cannot remove all these things right let's say uh, we are we are having something running in the web and we want to close the web alone and the mobile still should be running so this unload thing has to be called only at you know at the end of the whole test case right so we have to be really really careful about this let's say um, dot remove again guys this is not it uh, full proof so basically we will revisit this and fix it if we need it all right and we have map uh, driver map right dot room 
driver map. Yeah, this is fine. We don't need to do this. Uh, it is just drilling or updated, but never queried. Yeah, it will be queried later point of time. When? So whenever somebody is calling the get driver, I cannot simply return this, right? I have to do some calculations, whether uh, the context is now web or mobile. Based on that, I have to return it. So, so if context dot get, okay, equal to equal to web, okay, I can return this, right? Uh, so basically, I, I, I will be uh, doing, so first evaluate this expression, okay? If it is true, you return this, or if it is false, you return mobile driver through local dot get, right? And uh, why this is still throwing error? We'll see, uh, sorry guys, return this. Evaluate this expression, if it is true, you do this, yeah. So now this is more readable, right? I'm evaluating whether the context is web. If it is web, I'm just returning this. If it is mobile, I'm returning this. So all good now. Let's try to check whether the basic tests are again working absolutely fine. So let's go here and then try to run it. Yeah, the browser getting launched. Yeah, it's just closing. And then let's go to the Android test and then try to run it. So guys, uh, you know, so there is some problem. Okay, the the context which isn't happening. Let's say let's go here and let's change this to Android. Right. And uh, yeah, now this is changed to Android. Now we can run the Android test. So for iOS, there is some problem. Let me see what is the problem and fix it. So now, yeah, this is working absolutely fine. So we, I'll connect with you guys in another great video. Until then, Tata, bye bye from home. Then, guys, if you haven't subscribe to the channel please do subscribe uh, you know I, I i hope that will that will help me to create more videos thank you guys see you guys in another great video